Hi, what is the most common symptom of a pinched nerve? There are millions of people that will experience this sometime in their life, and some may not be as severe as others. But a pinched nerve is going to cause a symptom, a subjective symptom of tingling, pain, numbness, cramping, aching, or whatever symptom you may imagine. So the subjective complaint, which is the posterior division of a nerve, because the nerves have two divisions. You have the posterior, the back part, you have the anterior, the front part. The posterior division of the nerve affects basically the, the, the afferent, uh, which is what you feel, which is the sensory. So this, the tingling, the numbness, uh, the burning, the pain, the radiating, all come from that portion of the nerve. The other portion of the nerve, called the the anterior portion or the motor division of the nerve has no uh, sensory uh, ability. So in other words, you, you can't feel anything when that portion of the nerve is irritated or compressed. But what you will notice is heaviness. You may notice weakness. For example, you feel like you're dragging your leg. You feel like you're, you're dragging your arm or your body or a particular part of your muscle just feels heavy. The heaviness has, to, has an effect with the motor portion. So, the, the question here is that a person uh, can have sciatica or pain going down the leg and have no heaviness of the leg or that person could have heaviness of the leg and have no symptoms of burning or tingling. So a, a pinched nerve or an irritated nerve or a symptom of a nerve that's being inflamed and irritated is either a sensation of burning, tingling, numbness, uh, uh, radiating or a heaviness or weakness of that particular muscle. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.